hello friends welcome to my channel once again today i shall evaluate this complex integral as you can see we have to solve this integral where c is the circle of mod z equal to 2 and the circle is taken in the positive sense here i have drawn the circle c that is mod z is equal to 2 so this is actually 2 now we have to use that residue theorem to evaluate this integration for that uh, we have to find the singularities so i can write sin h 2z is equal to 0 that means e to the power 2z minus e to the power minus 2z is equal to 0 or e to the power 4z minus 1 is equal to 0 that means e to the power 4z is equal to 1 which further means that e to the power 4z is equal to e to the power 2 n pi i with n equal to 0 plus minus 1 plus minus 2 and so on note that e to the power 2 n pi i will produce cos 2 n pi plus i sin 2 n pi and cos 2 n pi for n equal to 0 plus minus 1 plus minus 2 will be 1 and the sign terms will be uh, the sign term will be 0 so we can get this so finally we can write that z is equal to n pi i by 2 so we are getting a lot of points which are actually uh, singular points however within this contour that mod z equal to 2 we will have only three points which are so here only z equal to 0 and plus minus pi i y 2 will lie within the contour contour c that is mod z equal to 2 so here we will get z equal to 0 and another point will be minus pi by 2 here y axis is the imaginary axis so i am just writing pi i by 2 uh, pi by 2 minus pi by 2 and another point will be pi by 2 so we are getting three points which will concern in this problem so according to the residue theorem the value of the integration could be written as sine 2 sine h 2z this is the integration that can be written as that 2 pi i times sum of the residues that is equal to 2 pi i uh, residue at uh, uh, pi by 2 i plus residue residue at minus pi i by 2 plus residue residue at 0 now let's find the residue at pi i by 2 now the residue at pi i by 2 will be so here the residue will be uh, here we have the function and the residue can be found here and note that these points are simple poles so i can write sin 2hz uh, sorry sin hyperbolic 2z and z is equal to pi i by 2 
so which will be twice of cos h pi i so this is the uh, residue once it is r1 and similarly the residue residue at minus pi i y2 will be r2 that is 1 by ddz sin hyperbolic 2z z equal to minus pi y pi i y2 that is 1 by uh, 2 cos hyperbolic minus pi i and the residue residue at z equal to 0 will be r3 let us let's say it is r3 that would be 2 cos hyperbolic 0 so these are the three residues now let's find the value of the residues so that uh, we can find 1 by 2 cos hyperbolic pi i y 2 uh, not pi i y 2 only pi i will be 1 by uh, e to the power pi plus e to the power minus pi i so that would be actually 1 by cos pi plus i sin pi plus cos pi minus i sin pi so this will be 1 by 2 cos pi that will be minus half similarly we can find this value cos hyperbolic minus pi i that would be equal to e to the power um, minus pi i plus of e to the power pi i so it will be also minus half and 1 by 2 cos hyperbolic of 0 will be 1 by e to the power 0 plus e to the power 0 that is half so finally we can write that the integration dz sin hyperbolic sin hyperbolic 2z will be 2 pi i and uh, let's follow the order residue at pi i y 2 residue at minus pi i y 2 and residue at um, 0 so I am writing those so finally I am getting the result as minus pi i so this is the value of the integration so hope you have understood the problem here I have calculated the residues using this method and I have discussed about this method in my previous videos if you haven't checked those videos then I will request you to kindly check those videos as well I will try to give that uh, link of that video uh, in the description section as well as I will try to add in the card as well so hope you will understand the process of finding this kind of residues here so basically uh, what I have used is that whenever I have one function complex function of the form like this and if at z equal to z0 psi z becomes 0 um, then we will say that z0 is the singular point for fz however if uh, in addition phi z0 is not equal to 0 and uh, psi dash z0 is also not equal to 0 then we will call that z0 is a simple pole for fz and the residue and the residue um, finally becomes simply phi z0 divided by psi dash z0 uh, so i have basically used this 
formula here otherwise you can um, do it in another way in that elaborated way however if you remember this formula it will work and you can use this formula to find the residue for this type of problems this type of functions so hope you have understood the problem if you have liked the video then please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and please consider subscribing my channel i have already uploaded several videos on fourier series analysis some quantum mechanical problems vector analysis and uh, many complex analysis problems and uh, apart from that i have also uploaded videos on xrd and data analysis double fitting exponential double decay curve and electrochemical workstation and many more things so to export those videos i would request you to subscribe my channel and stay connected with my channel thanks a lot